All right. Well, welcome back to another episode of the Create the Ripple podcast. I am your host, Candace Smiley, and today's episode has me jazzed. Let me tell you why. I get to interview a man I respect greatly. I also get to call him my friend, and I'm grateful for that. But this is Dr. Howard W. Fisher. Now, I'm going to read his bio, and it is long, but hang out with me because this episode is not our typical 20-ish minute episode. It's about 40-ish minutes long. But this is not one that you want to miss. Dr. Howard has a number of letters after his name, BSE, BED, MBB, BS, DSC, IMD, DHS. You get the idea. He is a doctor of integrative medicine, and he specializes in using diversified natural techniques to support anti-aging medicine and combat de-differentiating immune system diseases. Let me make that in English for you. He's highly sought after as a lecturer, and he's on a mission to educate and enlighten the world about the toxic factors that exist in our environment and their direct relationship on our health, functional metabolism, and disease. His current seminar is that he delivers in both medical anti-aging conferences, cancer conferences, and medical schools worldwide, makes both professionals and the public aware of the omnipresent threats that present in our immediate environment and gives insightful plans on remediation. He says, the goal of anti-aging and integrative physicians is to optimize the psychological, sorry, the physiological function of the body in an effort to help people move from the, move the chronological clock to the physiological clock. We must find a way to diminish the harmful environment factors and extend the current diminishing lifespan. It's a lot of fun. You're going to enjoy this list. And He's a researching author. He acts as a consultant as educator for several multinational nutritional companies and is a senior associate dean at the Health Optimized Coaching Academy and has advised several governments on electromagnetic radiation effect and has been involved as a lecturer with The Truth About Cancer, the TTAC series that has been seen by more than 30 million people. Dr. Howard Fisher speaks international on anti-aging, nutrition, wellness, cancer, immunology, and maintains a global consulting practice for those with significant health issues. He has written many articles for trade publications and is a featured guest on many radio and television broadcasts. We're exceptionally grateful that he came here with us today. In addition to authoring over 20 health-oriented books, his research has also been published in peer-reviewed journals. His books and lectures have been translated into 12 languages and are sold in North America, South America, Europe, and Asia. Last part. Being widely recognized for his ability to assimilate what many view as daunting scientific and clinical information, Dr. Howard transforms essential knowledge that would otherwise remain inaccessible to the public into readily available life-altering information one of my favorite reasons I like to talk to him. The foundation of his philosophy rests upon understanding and exposing the true nutritional and environmental deficiencies that exist in our everyday lives and scouring the planet for the most efficient solutions that not only solve these life-threatening issues, but improving our well-being and overall quality of life for everyone. His common sense approach to explaining the impact of our environmental factors to the health of the world makes it easy for his audience to make informed choices toward bettering their lives. He has spent decades advising people and designing natural protocols that have allowed them to restore their health and return to productive lives. Sit back, relax, enjoy your show. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Create the Ripple podcast. I'm your host, Candace Smiley here. We trust the Ningle and we tell the truth. This is a podcast. We are looking to have conversations that matter, conversations that take courage to engage in, where we cut through the noise, the noise that exists online to bring you incredible content, amazing speakers and stories to inspire you to live your best, listen to yourself and tell the truth of who you are and who you just might become. Hey, beautiful people, just me. I wanted to come to you real quick and say heads up. There's quite a bit of sponsored content in the episode you're about to listen to. I also want to let you know that we are interviewing a a doctor, Dr. Howard Fisher. He's got quite a bit of experience, but of course, I want to put the disclaimer that we are not claiming to treat, prescribe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Please go and talk to your doctor if you have any concerns on those issues. This is more of an educational podcast designed to give you tools and tips that you can choose to use after your own intelligent research to figure out if they're fit for you and your family. Personally, I have been using Moringa since 2009, 2010, and I've seen incredible benefits of having this amazing, very nutrient-dense botanical in my life. 
Um, but again, we're not claiming to treat, prescribe, medicate, et cetera, et cetera. Please don't go there. This is simply an educational podcast for you to gain some information. If you want more information to contact Dr. Howard Fisher directly, we will have contact information for him down below. And of course, if you'd like to try any of the products, they are affiliated links. If you do click on them, I will receive a compensation accordingly. It won't affect uh, the price coming to you, but uh, I, it's very important for me to be honest and transparent with you, but I do hope you sit back relax and enjoy the show. It's a fun one. And I can't wait to share some of this information with you. Have an amazing day. So yeah, no, I guess, I guess I'd love to know um, a little bit about how you got into uh, specifically Moringa. I know you've got, you know, oh, doctor okay. of integrated medicine, but I'm curious what, sure. what led you to that? I'm always looking. Oh, I've got the, there's a, there's a, a, a one story per se that did it. So basically, I've been a vegetarian for as long as you've been alive, probably longer. Okay. And, and, and so uh, I'm not a small guy uh, because I was always a jock. So mm. protein is extremely important to me to be able to maintain body mass. Right. So as a, as a vegetarian, I mean, how many nuts can you eat? Right. And, and looking right. for protein sources was always a problem. So I came across a paper out of Senegal written by a nurse and Kwashi Orkor. Kwashi Orkor is protein malnutrition. And protein malnutrition is, it, it's potentially a death experience for children. In Sub-Saharan Africa, one in five children uh, under five die. So when we see that Kwashiorkor is, is a, a fatal disease, which is protein malnutrition, they were treating it with three teaspoons of crushed Moringa leaves daily, 80% successfully. That was, that was the actual, hmm, wow, there, a plan. Only three teaspoons? Three teaspoons. That's incredible. I didn't realize right. it was that that small. Correct. And so that led that led me down the rabbit hole per se. And that's back in about 07, 06, 07, uh, coming across this paper. And consequently, no one knew about it. There were no papers back then. There was nothing, basically. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, you know, you walked into a health food store 15 years ago they didn't know what word you were saying. They didn't know anything about it. When, uh, when I was looking at it, it was tough getting information, uh, but I'm a rather keen researcher, so I went after it with vigor. And uh, you know, it's got so many names around the world that you have to know what you're asking for. Uh, you can you can ask for moringa in India. I lived there for a while. Nah, they don't know what you talk about. You ask for drumstick, and yeah, it's everywhere. It's in, it's in every store. Right. It's everywhere. They were eating the pods, right? And they weren't eating the pods for nutrition. They were eating the pods as just part of a meal. Okay. And then, of course, in Ayurvedic medicine, they were using moringa as well, a panacea basically mm -hmm. they were using moringa for everything and yet really people hadn't heard of it that much in the west they didn't know they didn't know and and uh, consequently i'm always looking for solutions to to everything there, there have to be solutions uh, in a far in a in a far better manner than We've been addressing them, and uh, that led to several of my products uh, because I, I'm looking for specificity uh, that is not being properly addressed uh, by any system, by any system we have in place right now. And and there's a lot. There's a lot going on. All you have to do is walk down the street, mm -hmm. and uh, and the the way to really reinforce that. I had just come back from. Um, China. And uh, I, I've been in many, many countries. I've lectured in about 30 countries. And so I just come back from China. And, you know, in China, 
you, you don't see people who are heavy. You just don't see people who are heavy. So I had to go to a wedding and we drove. I uh, had to go to a wedding in Ohio. So we, we stopped at uh, uh, an outdoor, uh, I wouldn't say it's a strip mall. I guess it's a, uh, it's a discount mall. And, you know, they have all these stores that, that you know, the brand names, uh, stores that they sell their discounted goods at. So uh, my wife, Shelly, and I were walking, and I kind of noticed that, and this is nothing against Americans because it's predominant everywhere in the West. Everybody was overweight. I mean, significantly overweight. And so I, I had to give my head a shake because uh, I'd only been off the plane a few days. And um, I started counting. I started counting people at 90 percent were overweight and out of the 90 percent at least half if not more were significantly over like you know waddling instead of walking and so we always have to look to address like what's wrong what's causing this and i mean we've, we've come up with solutions and um people aren't really listening and there are many of us who we we're, we can't push. We can't push against media. We can't push against what people believe. But I'm not in the convincing uh, business. I'm into the helping people uh, business, and and that's why I'm a doctor. And so when we when we look at that aspect, you can only lay out what it is that you know, and say. Here's here's what it is. Here's what you can do. Of course, it's up to you to do it. It becomes up to you to do it. And, and you know, the choice is yours. I can't make the choice for you. I can't do that. But I can tell you what I think you should do. And as a consequence, hey, uh, that's where we are. And so that's how I got into Moringa. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm pretty excited because I just sent... Um... The, the current product that we've got. I just touched over to my girlfriend and she's most purple excited. Snow. Purple snow. I know our purple snow. I showed Anara the other day. I said, watch this baby. <laughs> Put a scoop in and it goes in green and then of course it turns, you know, it's just so cool. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. It, anyway. it, it's very cool. <laughs> she was excited about the number of antioxidants. So let's just give people an idea if they haven't heard about Moringa. Cause I mean, I've known about Moringa since about 2009 and my mm -hmm. life is mm -hmm. infinitely better uh, because of it. Mm -hmm. But let's just mm -hmm. give people a rundown of what's in Moringa. What's in Moringa? Wow, this could take this could take all the time we have <laughs> no. uh, just to do that. Because if we if we want to start as an overview, I mean, you can go with just forty six antioxidants, there's thirty six anti inflammatories. Uh, I think I posted the the other day, and what people don't realize is. The primary function, the, the thing the papers showed first wasn't the protein and, and how high it is in terms of uh, um, an anabolic portion. And, and that's something that no one ever discusses that when they discuss protein, but we can come back to that if you remind me to discuss net nitrogen utilization. Uh, but uh, it protects your liver. And no one ever talks about the liver. They don't. It's the workhorse of the body. It protects your kidneys. Oh. Uh, it protects your heart. It protects your testes or your ovaries, lungs, mitochondria. So this is not where food currently takes us. Food currently takes us in the other direction. We're currently in the other direction totally because food is really harming us but let's you know i can digress all the time but let's go where we're going so we'll have you back for we, an encore show where we talk about that one how's that no problem <laughs> um so phenolic acids polyphenols flavonoids um it's just got it all and people don't understand all people don't understand all i just uh i, I posted something that was pretty funny today and and that was about uh a fellow with a shopping cart. And uh, I had done a lecture and I had listed, I had listed what was in Moringa. 
right? And it's there's 92 nutrients, but they they uh, they wear a lot of hats, so to speak. When I say there's 92 nutrients and they wear a lot of hats, uh, what I'm referring to is you can have you can have amino acids that that act as antioxidants, right? So, I mean, there's there's all these things. So, uh, when we talk about fatty acids, well, the standard diet standard diet in North America uh, has a ratio of omega uh, three to omega six. Omega six is anti-inflammatory. I mean, inflammatory. Omega three is anti-inflammatory. So you want higher omega threes. Sadly, it's about one to 18 for three to six. So everyone's on an inflammatory diet. So the fact that there's you know, 36 anti-inflammatories in Moringa means we're, we're fighting in the right direction. And the fact that, oh, Moringa has heavily weighted omega-3s. It has omega-6 and 9 as well, but it has heavily weighted omega-3s uh, disproportionately. So it's promoting omega-3s and and our standard standard diet is promoting an inflammatory diet, and inflammation is is a real problem. It's it's a real problem. So that's another aspect of moringa that most people don't understand. Um, minerals, people understand minerals. It's loaded. You know, they talk about they talk about uh, iron and they talk about uh, potassium. They talk about all of that, right? It's you know, it's it's all there. Enzyme cofactors, all there. Uh, brain chemistry. I mean, there's there's GABA, tyrosine, tryptophan, uh, phosphatidylcholine. It's it's all there. Uh, athletes benefit because it's got zinc, tyrosine, vitamin C, and you can make adrenaline from that, right? I mean, there's so the reality is that it's not missing much. It's it's basically the most phytonutrient dense plant on the planet. And so if you're aware, if you're aware of what it's light in versus your dosage of what you're looking for, you can, you can supplement to that, yeah. right? Just to make sure that you're, you're adding what needs to be one area, one area that uh, I should mention that, Virtually no one here. So I just got a, a kudo the other day from someone who started taking the product and they uh, they had a, a teenager who's kind of depressed. You know, these are depressing times we're in. Um, I won't I won't get into that or you won't be able to air it. Uh, but the reality is that they're depressing times and they're depressing times for people trying to see a future. Uh, you in Alberta, it's a wonderful thing. Everyone loves Smith. Sorry if you don't, but uh, in in the East here, we just look at it. Wow, this is amazing. So what, what people don't understand is serotonin, which is a happy hormone, it's 95% in the gut. And Moringa causes a significant release of serotonin, which can affect depression-related disorders. So... We've got we got the package here of being able to affect virtually everything because your body is a physiological factor. That's it. Whatever goes in has to get dealt with. Mm -hmm. When you put the right things in, when you put the right things in, it's you're coming out of this a lot better. Everybody, everybody who takes it is better off than if you don't take a Moringa product. And everybody who takes any Moringa product is better off than someone who doesn't. And there are superior products, as you know, mm -hmm. and, and I, I won't get into uh, the others, but I, I've lectured at universities in, in India where they're, they're the top growers in the world. Uh, and the reality is there's a medical relationship. And, and I like to put that together for them. Uh, but everybody understands there's heritage seeds. And when you get a heritage seed, there's there's 13 different Moringas in the world. Olafero is just one of them. But there's over 60 different varietals of Moringa Olafera. And when you get to over 60 different varietals, 
everything has a different function. How you grow it, how you pick it, how you dry it, everything affects function, whether you're cross thinking vitamins or whatever. I've, I've been in plantations in four continents. I've been in plantations where I've said, you know, this is not the best moringa you're growing. This is not. We could get a, a much higher end moringa. And, and, you know, and they had invited me there to have a look and get my opinion. And so the bottom line is the moringa that uh, I use my formulations, you can taste, when you take a pure, and most people can't do this, you can take a teaspoon of it and you can taste the horseradish in it. It's like, it's tough to swallow, uh, but you can taste, you know, the horseradish in it. It's like, oh, and that's from the horseradish peroxidase, which is, you know, um, uh, just another aspect of it. And, and Ringa itself uh, just continues to give and give and give and give and give. And that's what it does. It's, it's just a plant. Put it in your body and see what it does. Now, there's a lot of people who have a lot of products. And um, I, I don't get into that contest because I, I just give the pedigree. And so try it. If you don't like it, <laughs> don't, don't take it. It, it, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Uh, I think uh, the current licensor, uh, the person who licensed my product, mm. um, is going to actually limit, going to limit the actual production uh, in terms of something they're comfortable with. They're not looking to be, you know, going millions of them um, because it's, it's a high grade product and they want to utilize it and utilize sources aren't infinite sources of the heritage seed plant are not infinite. They're finite. They are right. There are unlimited quantities of moringa but there are not unlimited quantities of the best moringa and so i think the people that are involved in in the uh fabrication of my formula they're aware of that too and and i'm not and i think i, I think it's in the neighborhood that they're comfortable with about fifteen thousand tubs a month that's what they're comfortable with and that's okay uh because it'll help everyone uh, that it takes it. Hey, beautiful people. So, you know, when you find a restaurant or a product or something that you really fall in love with and you want to share with everybody? Yeah, that's what this episode's all about. I have known, respected, and enjoyed a friendship with Dr. Howard Fisher now for a number of years. And so when he let me know that he had taken one of the formulations of his Moringa Oliveira products, plus a few other products, which also contained Moringa, that he was using to treat his cancer patients and he was offering them to the public, I got excited. I've been using Moringa Oliveira, which is one of the most nutrient-dense botanicals, since about 2009, 2010, and I've seen incredible benefits of doing so. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. Dr. Howard Fisher is. But in this video, we try not to make any claims or any of those kinds of things. But if you certainly want to get in touch with Dr. Howard Fisher and ask him more about his practice, his information will be included in the description box. For my part, I need to let you know there is quite a few sponsored links and product chats contained in this episode. However, I don't want that to take away from the information we're sharing with you. Obviously, we are going to do our best to make sure that you have all of the links that we refer to. Dr. Howard Fisher even mentions it himself in the episode. Please don't believe me. He's got over 500 different notes in his books where he credits the scientific journal or paper that he was using as he gathered his research. He's a researcher. So if you are someone who's looking to maybe do more to biohack or add to your life or have a better healthy year in 2023, I would invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As we go back, let me let me take us back to the uh, to the outlet mall uh, back in Ohio where everyone was overweight. So 
in the U.S., in the U.S., out of their 338 million population, 34 million people have diabetes. So if you're already diagnosed, depending on your age, the older ones are type 2, and the others are type 1. But there are 100 million pre-diabetics. And those numbers work well in every Western country as, as percentage of population. So if you look at look at the fact that it's 134 million who are diabetic or pre-diabetic um, in the U.S. of the population of 338 million, you can see the numbers are, are pretty high, like in, ranging in 40% of adults uh, or something like that. Now, why do they have a category of pre-diabetes? Why does, why does that exist? Well, because they don't think they can stop it. I, I, I believe we can stop it. I certainly know there's ways to turn it back. And then you start to look at the literature. Hmm. And there's paper after paper uh, of the anti-diabetic uh, relationship between marine, Moringa ingestion, mm -hmm. right? You know, and and everything. You know, it's, oh, medicinal plants and treatment of diabetes in Senegal, right? It's like, it's you just look at, what are they using? You're using Moringa. Anti-diabetic properties of drumstick leaf. Oh, and they're using Moringa. Um, Moringa leaves aqueous extract that's in water, therapy and hyperglycemic rat and it's paper after paper after paper no one's been talking about it no one's talking about it and there's all these papers and is overweight a problem is diabetes a problem well yeah so that became a major anchor for another product that i formulated uh for your metabolism but it basically it basically reverses insulin resistance now insulin resistance is where your body secretes insulin mm -hmm. um, but your cells don't respond to it and that happens later in life so if your body's not responding to the insulin you're secreting well then you have elevated serum glucose leads to type 2 diabetes leads to storage of the glucose as fat but why aren't people looking I, I I don't know. It's, so it's so much easier to give us just you know a, a pill, right? Rather than encourage. But we can do that. We can do that. I I created capsules because they know that. I've created capsules that do exactly that. You take it a you know, half hour before you ingest food, and bam! All of a sudden, your numbers don't go up to the same extent. Oh, okay, good. So uh, the bottom line is. That's not that's not what's in the capsule. Mm. That's not moringa. That's allowing what's in the capsule or in the drink to make physiological changes. And that's what it is. It's allowing your body to make changes. And consequently, who benefits? You. <laughs> you benefit by allowing your body to make changes. And so that's become the hallmark for whenever I put things together. I mean, I, yeah, people should know. People should know that, especially if you go down rabbit holes all the time and you're a researcher all the time, it's just a matter of, you know, they say there's, there's no benefit to curing people. <laughs> it's... That's wrong. It's just a, a mentally wrong attitude for anybody. We want people to be healthy. We don't want people to have disease. We don't want people to have uh, disorders. And if we can do that, uh, we're happy. And if it's something that it's a food, when it's a food, this is a food, uh, when it's a food, it's even easier. When you can put it in a shake, when you can when you can take a capsule, it's a vegetarian capsule, or like all of these things. So, so that's what we've looked at, and that's helped develop 
all kinds of protocols that help develop uh, um, cancer protocols by immune system restoration. Well, they're not looking at it. They don't look at it that way. They look at it in other ways. And we're looking at it in that way. We want to restore. When you were born, most people had wonderful bodily function. Wonderful bodily function. It's what we did to it environmentally and dietarily uh, that really wiped it out. And so that's what I believe is a, a philosophical perspective of how we look at things. And yeah, there, there are solutions. And you know, you know with the antiviral, you know that you're in the middle of flu season. Don't call it anything else. It was flu season up to like, you know, a couple of years ago, then it vanished and now it's back. It's flu season. Well, where did it go? Oh, it was up at the North Pole with Santa making toys. Okay, but now it's back. <laughs> and so and so the reality is we see the benefit of yeah, the health defender. This is my new friend right now. I mean, I have a seven year old and it seems like, you know, she's always bringing something home and this is just amazing. And I was looking at what's in it. We don't have to get into that right now. But we can get into I, anything. It's okay. I was looking at, you know, just the, the, you know, amount per serving compared to some of the other stuff that we had previous to having this in our lives. And it's like 10 times more. <laughs> it's like than one. Castle. It's, <laughs> it's what, it's what I believe. Yeah. Um, listen, this product addresses all aspects of your immune system. And it's, it's a good time to talk about zinc and zinc ionophores. It's a really good time because uh, people don't get it. They, they don't get it and that's okay. They don't have to get it. They don't have to get what zinc does. But when you start to look at what zinc does on a, on a cellular basis, what zinc does on a cellular basis, people start to freak out uh, because I always say, well, did you ever try to light a match in the rain? And they go, what are you what are you talking about? You ever try to light a match in the rain? And they go, uh, yeah, it's tough. Okay, so what zinc does, if you can get it into the cells, and that zinc ionophore is a substance like the quercetin, like the moringa, that we have in that, that helps zinc, and we have zinc in there too, cross into the cells. I guess we're going to have to go to uh, a basic virology that no one understands. I love this. Uh, this is so good. So good. Uh, a virus isn't really alive. Oh, you're going to get feedback on this, but that's okay. I'll, I'll defend it. Uh, otherwise, everybody coming in contact with everybody would get sick. But a virus is not alive. A virus has to find a receptor site or a cell, get into the cell, Take over the cell. Start using the cellular equipment to manufacture the viral proteins so it becomes a virus cell. And when it does that, the virus is alive. It's your cell, and you're about to be attacked. Your cell will be attacked by your immune system. That's when you get really sick. So if we can get, we can get zinc into your cells, Aside from the C and the D and the K2, which, which help the other aspects of your cellular and humoral immune system. But we're going to talk specifically here on the zinc. If we can get the zinc into your cell, it's very difficult for a virus to take over the equipment in your cell to manufacture viral proteins, and you win. You're not sick. You fought it off. Why? Because you couldn't light that match. The virus couldn't light that match in the rain. Right? So you could not do that. And that, that product, per se, um, sells for double. And with lesser amounts. Sells for double and with lesser amounts than that product. I want everybody for the next two years to, to take that one every day two capsules every day if you're an adult one if you're a child every day and the reason being no one wants to be sick if you want to be sick don't take it don't take it it's okay and and to me it 
it doesn't matter. I'm only delivering information. And that's that's how an antiviral works. From a cellular perspective, everyone disregards biological terrain. Biological terrain is how virulent your immune system functions, how difficult it is for, for all the pathogens to take over. And the reality is, it makes it much more difficult. And as you say, you can be sitting in the middle of a maelstrom of pathogens because you know, when kids go to school, they bring them home. They bring them home. One of my one of my old profs, uh, Dr. Coven, used to say, uh, he says, you know what? Eat the dirt. The more pathogens you expose yourself to, the more virulent you make your immune system. And that, that's a long, long time ago. That's a long, long time ago. And yeah, he was right. Well, I've noticed, you know, with the zinc as well, like my hair grows faster and Nara's noticed this. We've used this a couple of times and we've actually had instances where we run into people who are, you know, sick and coughing. We go home, we double down on our health defender for a couple of days. We, you know, throw some Moringa into the juice and we coast. We just <laughs> we coast. And I oh, can no, remember I when I, <laughs> I didn't have access to these products. There was a couple of years where I didn't have access and I missed them. And I would often say, I wish I had, I wish I had, <laughs> I wish I had. And so, so glad that these are back in my life. I feel safe when I take them. And I think that's probably the most exciting thing is just that empowering sensation of I'm giving my body what it needs to do what it needs to do. Absolutely. Well, the Moringa formula has been out two years. No one, no one knows about it. No one knew about it in North America. It was only in Europe and it was only for my patients because I developed it for my patients and uh, the health defender that's about to have its first birthday on Christmas uh, I said you know what I'm just so tired of this nonsense and um, I've got the knowledge to do this I I've got labs that love me everywhere in the world uh, and so because I say, hey, here's what we have to do. Here's how it's going to work. And you've read one of my books. So you know that I'm really anal. And this is going to sound horrible. Um, but I don't care if you believe me. I list a footnote for it. I don't care. Uh, I have a book 120 pages long with over 500 footnotes. Why? Look it up yourself. Look it up. I'm not the one saying it. I'll show you. 20 papers or 50 papers or 100 papers yes. on everything, on everything. And, and now, in the last couple of years, we've had fallacious papers that have come out on certain things. And uh, I, won't, I won't go there because uh, I got into trouble being an advocate for um, a couple of uh, well-proven, well-documented uh, pharmaceuticals. Uh, and so, um, yeah, all they do is they cut down your your Facebook uh, viewers. Oh, <laughs> it, it's true. <laughs> but I think it's so great when we can provide people with an option and say there is something out here. And I think this is what impressed me the most. I mean, I've read your books and have a chance to, you know, hang out with you, which is great. But this stuff, like you said, you've put together for your your current patients. Like there was very specific when you put this all together. So super excited. We'll, of course, have, you know, links for people to check that out and try it themselves um, in the description box. But I think one of the things I sort of just wanted to, you know, wrap up on, we've given people a lot to think about, and we will definitely have you back to talk about, you know, food is, and food as medicine. But this whole idea around health restoration, because obviously this is, you know, one thing of many um, that we are doing to make sure that people have what they need for their bodies to do. I mean, we have this idea that our bodies are stupid. And they're not, they're brilliant, but we dumb them down when we put food that hurts us <laughs> inside. So let's just talk about that for a minute and give people something, sort of a direction to go on and ideas to try as they look to, to be better and feel better as we head into, you know, 2023. Well, that was a brilliant line uh, on your part, by the way. Uh, that's exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about giving the physiological factor that is your body what it needs and consequently consequently uh what we what we do see uh, what we do see is when you give it the opposite 
You remember that uh, movie Super Size Me where the guy went to McDonald's? Nothing against McDonald's. Uh, I don't eat there. But three times a day and almost died in a month. So uh, your liver's overworked. Why? Your liver's the workhorse of the body. It's got to detoxify everything. If you're not putting anything in it, uh, you're just building toxins. It's like, let's suppose you, you kept all the junk in your house. All of it. And you, you didn't throw out anything. Well, you'd be overwhelmed in, in no time at all. And it's the same thing uh, when you can't detox. It's it's the same thing. And do we offer that aspect? Yeah. Do we offer enhanced delivery? Yeah. Uh, but people don't understand if you're constantly putting in junk, you're going to be junk. And we... And no one talks about biological terrain. Biological terrain really refers to the efficiency of your body. Uh, we have to maintain certain values. Blood pH has to be 7.35 to 7.40. And then you hear all these other people who talk nonsense. like, oh, you need to be alkaline. You got to drink this water that's 10. Well, Last time I checked, the water is going through your stomach that has a pH of four that drops down to one for pepsinogen conversion. And like, there's so many, how shall I put it, people preying on others for reasons that don't make sense. I mean, we have to talk water one day because there is superior water. We we, we have to do that. Uh, I've already we, made we, a note. We're going to have you back at least once a month for the next, you know, six months. We're going to give people a ton of great information. So we'll have you back for water and protein. All right. Uh, yeah. And, and then we have to get to um, people who have heard about a few other things. Um, but there's ways to protect yourself beyond diet. There's ways to protect yourself. We have to do a talk. Uh, about that too because no one's going to tell you and governments aren't going to tell you you saw you're in alberta you saw what happens when you get a different type of politician in and they say no we're not doing that we're doing this we're going to do this we're not doing that so there are more governments out there that don't care about you i'm not sure what they care about and that's okay i'm not a politician but it's not you. And uh, consequently, you have to care about you. You have to care about your children. You're at the point where you have to care about your parents. They don't know. If you're following the news, there's all these people who are scamming grandparents. It's, it's horrible. I mean, I try to live by, I have one rule. I have one People say, well, there's so many. I, one rule, it's the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's it. No, nothing else is needed. Not for me. For me. Maybe other people need other things. You know, you got to walk backwards on Thursdays that are the, are the 13th of the month. I, I don't have any rules other than trying to help. Now, here's the bad part. If you're not interested in helping yourself, I'm not interested in helping you. I, I have to do that. Um, because I used to try to help everybody, and, and it's it's just a way to burn out. It's it's just a way to totally burn out. And and you can't listen. I've been in anti aging medicine since 1993. Um, it's done very well for the most part. People never understood antioxidants. I was talking antioxidants before people understood, before people knew about telomerase, about telomeres, about how they shorten. I mean, I was talking about that and no one knew what I was talking about, how you have to have antioxidants in your diet to protect your genes or, or epigenetic switches or or any of that. And people didn't, they didn't know, but yet the information is there. And that's, once again, you come back to Moringa. You come back to Moringa because it's just rich in antioxidants. Yes. And uh, hey, listen, I take it. I take three servings a day. Okay. Well, listen, it, it's my baby. I love it, and uh, not as much as my grandchildren. But, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. 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 So um, 
yeah, but but so it's good for you. And if it's good for you, that means more of it is even better for you. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. yeah. We got no overdose values there. So anything you'd like me to touch on? No, I think that that is a great way for us to wrap this one up. Uh, I've made some notes <laughs> on <laughs> topics I'd love to have you back uh, to talk about. Um, and so mm -hmm. we will get those set up. And if you're listening into this, uh, we will definitely have Dr. Howard Fisher back to talk about more about some of these issues and help people live live their best heading into 2023. So thank you, Dr. Howard. I really appreciate your time today. Oh, it's my pleasure, Candace. Love delivering information. Mm -hmm.